Let's move it. We got 25 seconds till that generator kicks in. Stand there for 20 seconds. Come on. Watch out. Let's go, JP. Come on, JP. Dead. They're still warm. They're not dead. I heard about this, but I didn't believe it. Captain, have a look at this. In the name of God. Action 94 continues as special correspondent Yuri Barnes takes us behind the scenes for an exclusive interview with police chief Frank Stark. An elite paramilitary unit within the Ocean City Police Force. They're especially trained in anti-riot tactics. Their powers of enforcement are unusually, some would say, disturbingly broad. And they answer directly to one man, OCPD chief and mayoral candidate Frank Stark. Chief Stark, how do you respond to the the critics who challenge your program as martial law. Mr. Barnes, we're living in a war zone. Civil rights don't mean much when the average citizen is afraid to cross the street at night. Yes, but there are some that claim your enforcement policies are drawn along oh, racial lines. Oh, Damn, look at that. Oh, man, I gotta do something about this hair. God. Maybe a Dennis Robin kind of thing. You know, shave a nice little discreet KNCW in the back. Guess I know how you'll be voting, you racist dog. You're not roll the tape. Take Lincoln Heights, a hotbed of gang activity, devastated in the 91 riots. That neighborhood is bleeding, Mr. Barnes. I'm not going to ignore violent crime simply because its primary victims are black. Ooh, Barnes is down, folks, reeling from the blow. Shut up, you ignorant spud. Anybody can see through that crap. Neck and neck in the polls, babe. That's only because Hitler dropped out of the race. No roll tape. Well, how do you plan to deal with the gang problem? My opponent has tried to initiate a dialogue with the gangs talk is cheap. I believe in action. As mayor, I'll be prepared to fight back by any means necessary. Am I on Mars? Or did he just quote Malcolm? <laughs> uh, Yuri? Yeah? There are a couple of b-boys out here in the lobby. Oh, Lila, I just love it when you talk so groovy. 
They're peddling some kind of homebrew handicam tape, and for some reason, they only want to talk to you. Hmm. Okay. Okay, Rusky, uh, back time it, cut the tag, and we're up at 10. Bang. Yo, pretty lady, hey, hey, you're gonna have to smile for the camera here, my boy, as you're on camera. Come on, you can bring it out and smile a little bit. There you go. <clears throat> Yuri Barnes? In the flesh. Man, you look bigger on TV. Yeah, thanks. You two got something you want to run past me? Got your 10 o'clock lead in, my brother. America's Funniest Home Video. And hey, we in the box, man. We busting it with the grand prize. Word. Uh, great, now I'll go take a look. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Home fries trying to punk us out. Check this out, man. You go next door, start running up 25 copies, that don't quite work for us. Nope. Non-negotiable. 25K. 25K? You gotta be out of your mind. Yo, man, it's your world. We just a squirrel. Yeah, trying to get a nut, I understand. But 25K, that's stupid money. I can't just get that. Man, kind of... come on, man. Look, let's take it to that white boy. He'll hook us up. Word. Yeah. No. What white boy? Yeah. The one from Channel 14. The one that tried to buy my camera on the spot. There you go. Hey, wait a minute. What do you got on that tape? Nothing. Mantis. Hey, hey, hey. Lila! Entry below the uvula. Exit above the fontanelle. Official cause of death. <laughs> Big damn hole in the head. Man, I'm starved. Amy, you want to join us for lunch? Thanks. I'm brown bagging it. Got plenty to keep me busy. She's the hardest working woman in the OCPD. <laughs> oh, I need a tox screen on 15C. Caucasian woman, late 40s. Okay. Wake up, girl. 15C. 19 years old. Got those results for me? Nope. It's the young guy in 15B, Nathaniel Holly. The finding says accidental overdose. Mm hmm. That's right. Well, I don't think so, Smitty. If you look closely, there's extensive head trauma. You see that with junkies? They shoot up in an alleyway, bang their head on the way down. No, Smitty. He was still alive. The head wound wouldn't bleed like that. Abrasions on the wrists and ankles. Postmortem lividity in the buttocks and feet. I think he died sitting up. I think he was tied to a chair. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Please, Smitty, listen to me. The fact that he's young and black doesn't make him a junkie. Nathaniel Holly was murdered. Amy, have a look. This is all the stuff that we took off of that kid. Now, do you know what that means? The 10 Ks? He's a gangbanger. I don't see what that has to do with... Amy, what we've got here is another dead homeboy. Maybe he did himself, maybe it was one of his pals. Not worth the department's time either way. That's not our decision to make. Amy, if he wasn't in here, he'd be out on the street killing somebody else. Now forget about it. Smitty, your finding wasn't only wrong, it's negligent. Then file a report. I've been in this office 35 years. I don't need some affirmative action hire telling me my job. Go ahead, file a report. See where it gets you. Amy, wait up! Oh, man, I'm not glad to see you. Well, these guys won't even talk to me. Guess what? What? I won't talk to you either. Oh, hey, come on, Amy. Look, I'm sorry about the dinner thing. Hey, Amy, I told you I had a network interview. I noticed you're still here. Oh, yeah, well, it was a quarter thing, and they said they were black enough already. But look, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll make it up to you. I'll take you out to lunch, okay? How about that? Listen, that's something I want to talk Not about. Not hungry, thanks. Damn, Amy, look, I know you work in the morgue and everything, but that's a little cold, don't you think? Like, what's a man got to do to get your attention? Huh? In a word, hmm? die. Amy? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Want some salt? No, thanks. We black males have to watch our blood pressure. Now, did you want to ask me something, or am I here for the pleasure of watching you eat? 
Okay. The OCPD is officially denying that any of this happened. But I've got it on tape. So, uh, slide on over. Lord, how much did that thing cost? It's tax deductible. Check it out. One guess at what you're looking at. Swan Lake. Bank robbery. The cops showed up and found him just like that, frozen stiff, just like you see here. Now, you tell me straight up, Amy, have you ever seen anything like this? All the time. It's called rigor mortis. Not quite, Amy. The guys are alive. An hour later, they fall out, and they got no idea what hit them. Now, it's happened a half a dozen times. Bank jobs, break-ins, hold-ups. OK, what's the explanation? One man war on crime. Fellows on the street call it mantis. Mantis? Mm. Like the bug. Yeah, Mask of Injury, the night kind of tip, you know. Urban superhero leaves evildoers frozen in his wake. Uh, you've been reading too many comic books. I think you're looking at a Frank Stark production. Yeah. I think I want to be mayor's got a new drug. I think he's experimenting with mass paralysis as a form of crowd control. I mean, why not? He can cook it up in the lab, try out a few random perps, and when the next riot rolls around... Yuri, that's ridiculous. And he's already clamping down. He's got this paramilitary goon squad. Wait a minute. You're not messing with me, are you? No. I mean, if you knew about this, you'd tell me, wouldn't you? Yes. Good. Well, I mean, maybe. Excellent. But I don't. I've never seen anything like this. Want to finish this price? Uh, no. What? Mm -hmm. Waitress, can I get my uh, check, please? Yes, sir. Oh, good. <sighs> you and your conspiracy theories. Come on, Amy. It's got to be Stark. I mean, how else can you explain the video? Who knows? It, it's a special effect. Oh. That kind of thing can be oh, fake. sure, sure. Or maybe you buy this mantis theory. <laughs> Mass vigilante, defender of the weak. Black man to rob, yeah. Well, it's not Stark, and it's not the cop. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. If it were, I'd know. Yeah. Amy, look in the mirror. I mean, what makes you think they're gonna tell you? Thanks for the soda. Sure. Let's do it again sometime. Mm hmm
57 Cadillac. Over. One hell of an option back Over. He's diving. What now? Keep him in range. No nuts on me if you catch him. Over. How about you, over? We've been foxed, buddy. Pursuit abandoned. Let's head for home. Okay, Mr. Ray, where were we? Uh, you were just asking me about uh, how I knew this fellow. Right, now how do you know this man's this guy? We had studied together about four years ago. Mm -hmm. It was a medical school. Oh, right, now, where's this medical school? This is uh, the University of Venus. Okay. What state is that in? Oh, this is uh, the planet Venus. And uh, it was a small school, but uh, one that was highly regarded. The planet Venus? The dark side. You're from the planet Venus. I studied there briefly and graduated with high honors. Okay. Some say that in primordial times. The... Wait here. Okay. Sorry, ma'am. Authorized personnel only. I am authorized. I work here. Who are you anyway? Special unit. Under direct orders of Chief Stark. <laughs> you can't go in there now, ma'am. To the bottom of this. This is a thing, a bimbo, but I gotta be shut up. Mimi, he's talking on the guy, he feels. Uncle Bob, a wingy. Yamaza. Muscle tones returning to a normal state of pliability. Pulse rate is gradually increasing. One thing you gotta say for him. They're model prisoners. Wait a minute. Just what the hell's going on here? As I said, ma'am, you can't go in there now. Smitty? Hey, ma'am? Ma'am! What the hell? Get out of here, Amy. You're not authorized. Oh, he's allowed in and I'm not? Officer, there's no need to manhandle the young woman. We'll let you know if we need help. Chief Stark said... Chief Stark said to assist me in any way I see fit. This is Dr. Miles Hawkins. The eminent biophysicist. This is Amy Ellis. Dr. Hawkins has been called in by the department as a consultant. Consultant? What do we need a... Perhaps Dr. Ellis would give us the benefit of her extensive professional expertise. Doctor? I don't know. I've never seen anything like this. Hmm. Maybe you need a consultant. These kids ought to be in a hospital. Blood tests, tissue samples, we're completely out of our jurisdiction. By the time they thaw out, they won't even know they were in here. We'll know. We're violating their... <laughs> What are they saying? You're asking me? Please, pardon our rudeness. It is a bad habit into which we sometimes fall. The doctor was merely describing a similar case of paralysis induced by the bite of a certain insect. Found only in New Zealand. Blood samples inconclusive. Chemicals already wearing off. It would be extremely useful if you could find me a fresh one. 
a fresh one. Dr. Hawkins, these are not specimens. They're human beings. That's enough, Amy. Dr. Ellis, I appreciate your concern. But if we had sent these patients to a hospital, the hospital would have called me in as well. It's been a pleasure. It's been educational. But what about the rumors of a flying car? A masked man who suddenly appears out well, of... the Lone Ranger. Look, I'm told that he single-handedly disabled a number of the rioters. In fact, I understand they're here right now, paralyzed. If you'll just wait, I'm sure that Chief Stark will be glad to answer all your questions. Camera's rolling, Antoine Pike is there. Uh, Antoine Pike of Mayor's Task Force on Gang Violence has a few comments he'd like to make, Mr. Pike. Thank you, Captain. Folks, I would like to talk to you about responsibility. Professional responsibility. Now, we all know that whenever violence occurs, it is the first impulse of the media to blame the gangs. But please understand that the so-called gridlock riot is an isolated outburst. The 10Ks and the Dragons are still in truce. It is a fragile piece, but it is holding. Hey, Amy, what'd you find out? I'm barred from the lab. What? Stark's got one of his elite paramilitary goons posted at the door. So Must be something I don't want you to know, huh? Gary, I'm not going to discuss this with you here. And I want to make sure that your coverage reflects that fact. Who's that? Look, we are all sick of babies killing babies. Now, let's all work together and try to keep some calm in the streets, please. Okay? Thank you. I have uh, just learned that Chief Stark will be delayed for another hour or so. Yuri uh, Barnes. I thought you'd be on the golf course sucking up the Chief Stark. <laughs> Antoine Pike. I didn't get your name. That's because she didn't give it to you. Dr. Amy Ellis, assistant medical examiner. Well, I'm pleased to meet you, Amy. That was a very impressive speech. Oh, thank you. You know, you should come down to uh, see us work with the kids at the Youth Athletic Center downtown. Here. Here's my card. That's the center's address, mm -hmm. my hours, and my private line. Great. Maybe I'll come down and take a look. I sincerely hope so. Bye-bye. Mr. Barnes? Um, I'm sorry, but the vibes here are just so, so beautiful. Excuse me? Amy, that guy's nothing but a publicity hound. We can't even cross the street unless he's got six cameras on him. I'm afraid you people underestimate the gang's leadership. They do not want this election to be realized by an outbreak of random violence. Can you guarantee that the truce will hold? No, I cannot guarantee anything. But I do know that Mayor Beam's outreach program is the first real step towards... Ladies and gentlemen, there's the third richest man in Ocean City. Why don't we go ask him what he's doing for his people, hmm? Dr. Hawkins? Evening. What brings you down here? You putting in some community service? I'm here in my professional capacity. I have nothing further to say. Please turn off the cameras. Well, aren't you part of Chief Stark's selection committee? Sharing all your big ideas on social justice. The only justice, Pike, is the justice you make for yourself. What Mr. Pike. Mr. Pike, sir. Good old doc. Well, I just wanted you folks to get the opposition viewpoint. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Pike, uh, sir. Oh. Man, she can't be going for that urban fly guy garbage. Can she, Walker? If it's a toss-up between you and somebody else, buddy, my money is on somebody else. Thought it over, Yuri. You're right. If Stark and his creeps are behind this mantis thing, you and me are gonna find out. All right. You too. What's up? Are you down for a set? Hmm? 
Well, you got to go through me first. You ready? Come on. Come on! Shoot, for now. You know I can take you, man. Yeah, well, look here. Reggie, you're gonna have to do more than just take me. Because I keep coming back at you. You understand? Understand? Yeah. Now play ball, damn it. Nice job. Ah, uh, ain't no big thing. They can get along, they just need somebody to show them how, that's all. How may I help you? I'm looking for Antoine. Lady from City Magazine. I guess he gets a lot of press coming down here, huh? Hey, that's his reputation. All I know is that every time he shows up on television or in the newspapers, we get another couple of hundred dollars in contributions. That helps us keep this place open another week or two. Actually, I'm just a friend. <laughs> What's so funny? He gets a lot of friends, too. <laughs> there he is. Gymnastic scholarship. The only way I got to go to college. See, I'm the brother who can't play basketball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I know all about scholarships. A sister on the puppy tip like you? I would have guessed Daddy ran you straight through the Ivy League. Guess again. Detroit public school system all the way. <laughs> uh, I hear that. Well, you respect him more if you work for it. Mm -hmm. Uh, you met uh, Cornell? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, this is the man that does all the real work here. Keeps things running smooth. You explain to the nice lady here what we're all about. Okay. Talk to you later. Thank you, bro. Show you around? Sure. Okay. JR there. He's 10K. Kevin's a dragon. Gangbangers, Amy. And we got them working side by side, helping to build the city back up. I guess the truth is for real. Oh, yeah, you got that right. Fine. Thank you, bro. All right. They help us paint, this place becomes theirs. Give them something to call their own, they're not so quick to tear it down. Come on, Sam. See, a gang is just another way out, Amy. You sound like you know what you're talking about. Me and Cornell? OGs. Founding members of the 10Ks. That was us 10 years back, one day away from being on the wrong side of a drive-by. Which side is that? Either side. I lost two brothers to drugs. I guess that's why I... No, you don't have to explain, Amy. See, we all feel the same obligation here. See those armbands? We lost one last week. 19 years old. Whole life in front of him. Now he's gone. Drug overdose. That's why we do what we do. See, kids like Nathaniel. Nathaniel Holly? Yeah. You know him? God. Did the autopsy on him. He didn't know D, Antoine. He... he what? What are you trying to say to me? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. It, it's not my place. Straight up, Amy. Did somebody harm that boy? I can't discuss it. Because if they did, I will find him and I will personally tear him apart with my bare hands. Antoine, I, I can't talk about it. Right. Yeah. What you're doing here is wonderful. Girl, you looking for something? We definitely got some of what you need. I got a funny feeling I've seen you someplace else before. <laughs> In your dreams, come on. Mayor Beam, your critics say you're dodging the gang question. 
How do you respond to that? I'm not dodging the question. I just don't see why the focus always has to be on gangs. What about jobs? What about the infrastructure? I think if you took a look at my record, you'll see that my outreach program was the best thing happening. There goes the election. You're giving Stark too much credit. Mantis is working alone. Please. They've sent out too many tissue samples. They're trying to figure out what Mantis uses to paralyze his victims. So? So they can synthesize the formula themselves, maybe even improve it. Ooh, maybe they'll come up with an extra crispy version. I think I know who he is. It's got to be someone who knows how the city works, a man with access, someone with a lot of money, and a man in great physical condition. Well, are you gonna share it with the rest of the class? It's Antoine Pike. Pike? Is this Mr. Antoine come down to the gym, look what I've done for the young brothers, slip into this camisole, Pike? I'm serious, Yuri. It's everything he talks about. Inspiration, role models, leaders for young people to rally behind. That's what the whole idea of Mantis is about. Antoine Pike is nothing but a hustler, pure and simple. From someone who knows, right? Want some coffee? Or quite possibly the strangest man in medical history. What are you doing back there? Uh, you'd be wearing a great big smile if you knew. Stroking the old buttocks again, eh? Miles, I want you to fly to Johns Hopkins for an EEG and an MRI. There are four kinesiologists in the country as good as me. I trained the one at Johns Hopkins. The collateral damage should be stable. Two weeks ago, you had some sensation in your buttocks and lower back. You're regressing. It's very good. Most therapists would have written it off as inconsistent post-traumatic shock. Well, thank you, but I'm in over my head. I need help. If, if we can't put a stop to this deterioration, I, I just don't know. Listen to me. I'm fine. No signs of mental fatigue, no symptoms of ghost limbs. I've made remarkable progress. And all thanks to you. Yes, Mokhtar? Mm-hmm. Send her up. Calvin, love those computer games you made for him. He wants to be just like you when he grows up. That's odd. When I grow up, I want to be just like Michael Jordan. <laughs> Excuse me, did I just hear a joke? <laughs> Sorry, it won't happen again. Well, Miles, you need to get out in the world now and then. Why don't you come over and let me fix you dinner? It would mean a lot to Cal. I'll take a rain check, Valerie. I'm in the middle of a project. Will I see you tomorrow? Monday through Friday, five days a week. Dr. Hawkins and his travels took pity upon a band of humble students. And now we are his interns. The knowledge that we acquire will be of great benefit to our people when we return. What's he like to work for? He is a second father to us. The kindest, most humanitarian man it has ever been our pleasure to know. Of course he compels us to say so. You see, we have no green cards. Dr. Hawkins? Can I help you? Was that Duke Ellington on the... Thelonious Monk. Though I do admire Ellington, he wrote one of my favorite songs. Which one is that? Don't get around much anymore. Well, doctor, I don't know how to put this delicately, but may I ask, exactly what is your interest in this recent spate of... Paralyzed criminals? I want to find out why it happens. So you plan to duplicate the chemical that causes it? If I can. 
Let's say you succeed. What do you plan to do with it then? I'm a doctor, Miss Ellis. Paralysis is my specialty. I want to know how neurotransmitters work and why they fail. If you think hard, you can figure out why. Now, why are you so curious about my motives? Dr. Hawkins, I think Chief Stark wants that drug. I think he plans to use it for crowd control, specifically targeting black neighborhoods. I work for myself. If Frank Stark's agenda coincides with mine, that suits me fine. Excuse me, I'm due at a seminar. Nice view, doctor. Maybe you should turn your chair around and take a look at the world. I do what I can, Miss Ellis. Dr. Ellis, thank you. Fascinating young woman. See if you can find out where she lives. It was infuriating. I could have just kicked him. It's not like he's gonna kick you back. This can't be right. That is not a man who grew up poor in Lincoln Heights. Well, he got out early. Two basic patents by the age of 15, millionaire at 18, MIT on a genius grant. Oof. Here's our boy. Which, in my opinion, set us back maybe 15, 20 years. And the only real affirmative action is what we as black people achieve on our own. But thousands of African Americans would never have gotten into colleges any other way. I did. My father did. How do you respect what you haven't earned? Mr. Compassion, idol of Republicans everywhere. Oh, he's not in a wheelchair. When was this? Uh, spring of 91, just before the riots. Hold on tight. Roger, we need backup now. Oof. I've forgotten how horrible it was. We were glued to the setback in Detroit. That's him. That's Hawkins. Yeah, the freeways were blocked. He was trying to get home on the side streets. That's when he saw the kid. Hey, man, the guy got shot. The guy got shot. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. Help me. I feel so awful. I had no idea. He claimed he was shot by a cop and he filed a wrongful injury suit against the city for 10 million. Dr. Hawkins, can we have a word, please? Dr. Hawkins, do you plan to appeal the verdict? Uh, no, I've decided that my time is best spent in other pursuits. Uh, one more, sir. Has this experience changed your well known conservative views? I won't blame anyone else for what happened to me. That would make me one more hapless victim, and there are enough of those already. Excuse me? What about Dr. Hawkins? Research, Dr. Doctor, one more question, please. So he lost the suit. Yeah. The bullets what ruined him in court. It was non-standard. It wasn't police issue. Oh, Lord, Yuri. How can a man who's undergone that kind of injustice... It's our doc. You live and learn. Well, except for the learn part. Of course, I do understand he did give up all of his defense contracts. Defense contracts? Yeah. I think he bought that spread at the beach. Biological weapons.
Doctor, we received transmission from the cellular phone scanner. Trouble? The gang truce is being broken. Time. Ice that. You running my battery down, man. Oh, man. How come you want to sweat me? Because you ain't got no money to buy nobody no new. You want to do name that tune? Go over to Mia's house. To Mia? Damn, man. All she got is that old tired eight track. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yo, you know those dudes? Nah, -uh, man. I ain't never seen them around here before. Tiffany, go in the house, honey. Boy, you spend more time on that car. Mama, why didn't you call me? I would have picked you up. Because you would have brought your sister with you, and I already told you I don't want her riding in that car. Ain't nothing wrong with this car. She'd have been fine with me. And anyway, nobody messes with the dragons.
Can you hear me? Something's wrong. Battery damage. Are you picking this up? receiving our transmission. Help me. Help me. Police, drop your weapon and stand aside. Master, hurry! Don't care! The beautiful coat I picked out for you. Master, shut up and help me! Battery pack failed. The entire eye and I imagine. We lost telemetry contact. You should have had another 20 minutes of power. Don't just sit there flooring. I found these in the glove box of the converter. Load those three into the van. We're taking them back with us. Juice me up, and I'll meet you back at the sea pod. The problem appears to be neurological. The more you use the harness, the more dependent on it you become. It's a technical problem. All progress comes at a cost. The harness is destructive, Doctor. If you continue to wear it, you sacrifice any hope of recovery. It's my body, Inja. I wouldn't dare test it on anyone else. If you don't like it, I can have you on the first plane back to Africa. But then you'd have to find new assistants. I could just imagine the interview process, Doctor. <laughs> I can always quit if I have to. But you won't. You enjoy it too much. The freedom, the danger, perhaps even the violence. You're becoming addicted. Don't ever presume to tell me about violence. It never touched me. I was blind and it took a bullet to open my eyes. It is the next bullet that I am worried about. You cannot change the world on your own, Doctor. I have a debt to pay, Injia. If I can help, I will, no matter what it costs. As you say, Doctor, nobility, it is the best excuse in the world. The boy whose home they attacked is a dragon lieutenant. Which no doubt means a retaliatory move against the 10Ks. I administered the muscle relaxant. He'll talk. Don't be afraid. We won't harm you. Tell me your name. Day Day. Day Day Wilson. And you ride with the 10Ks? No gang. But you were wearing 10K colors. No gang. Then why did you stage the drive-by? Answer me, Dede. Is someone paying you to break the truce? They gave us guns and $200 a piece. Who? Who gave you the money? I don't know. I don't know. Doctor, I can bring him around if you want. Let him sleep. 
There's an outside agitator at work. Someone's pitting one gang against the other. Who'd want to provoke a gang war? Get me the spare harness. I'm going out. Twice in one night, Doctor, you mustn't. It is too soon. It may already be too late. This time tomorrow, there'll be blood in the streets. Tell me why I'm here, kid. Hey, yo, Jay. Tell him what's up, man. Tell him how your car just went up like a damn Pinto. Punks ran out before I got my piece. Or some of y'all wouldn't be here right now. Hey, yo, yo. Pick the face. Pick the ones. I'll deal with the ass right here. They ain't here. You damn skippy, they ain't. Hey, that don't mean nothing. You see, Jay here, he could have went off, but he didn't. Because he's a man. But I'm telling you, anybody come around my mama's house, we bury him tomorrow. Like we buried Nathaniel? Like we buried my little brother? We gonna settle this, kid. We gonna settle this right here and now. Well, come on. Yo, what? What? Hey, man, what's wrong with you? Did you sleep? They've been stung by a mantis. Yo, Yo you scared? Yo, you hear that? Yo. Can Mantis fly? Man, how the hell I supposed to know? Hey, fellas! Let's hear what Mantis got to say. Why should we do that? Because if you don't, he's gonna kill me. But go on! Kill his rusty ass. Don't mean nothing to me. I don't think so. You can go on destroying each other, or you can learn to live together. Well, tell your boy there, man. He's the one that's been... What's the purpose of this truce? The election. You fire it up now. We'll just be writing a check to get Stark elected mayor and kick all our asses. Oh! <clears throat> who the hell are these mugs? They're the ones who paid the visit to your friend. Jay? That's them. They're the ones. Man, I swear. I ain't seen these spuds before in my life. He's telling the truth. They were paid to wear these. I owe you an apology, my brother. We've been joked. Big time. You've got minds. Use them. Who stands to benefit if the truce is broken? Stark. He's been playing us like suckers, so we go out and gangster each other, and then he steps in clean. Well, I ain't going out like that. Nobody plays the 10Ks. You got some place to be now. We'll handle these three punks. No. Anyone wants them goes through me. Is that how you want it? Hey, 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 this is nothing to do with you, man. We got business with them three. You've brought nothing but misery to this city, to your families, to each other. It ends tonight. 
You've wasted your lives long enough. Now you're finally learning how to live like human beings. Keep on learning. Or I'll be back. Okay, buddy. All right, this is your last time seeing you, huh? I'm gonna find you. We got above average strength, steroids, we got pharmacological trainings. Stupid. Flying pimple, we have. Gymnast. Is that a resume for your next job? Because you're gonna need one. Yeah, Lila, don't sneak up on people like that, okay? Look, I was just working on... I know. I hate to remind you, but we've got an election in three days. Lila, this is a major story, though. I agree. This Mantis character has captured the imagination of the city. I'm telling you. I think it's going to be enormous. Oh, it's going to be big time. I put Bruce Motley on it. Bruce Motley? Lila, Lila, you can't do that. This is my story. Look, I've been on the thing since... I found you that tape. The one that cost me 25 grand? Yeah, Lila, Lila, you can't do this. Look, this is the biggest story to hit the street. Wait stand. a minute. Isn't that what you said about the election when you came in begging for the assignment? Now, where's the intro for the Stark rally? Oh, I just got to bump it up a little bit. Which means you haven't even started. I'll be back in 45 minutes. I want that intro on my desk. <gasps> oh, my God. Mantis. Don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. Of course not. I... Uh, you startled me, that's all. I mean, I admire you. I'm honored. Lila McEwen. Uh, did you see that piece you ran on you? It was highly favorable in a in balanced, objective way, of course. Hold it. Now, what do you say, Mantis? Ten grand. Ten grand on the spot for an exclusive taped interview. I don't want your money. Fifteen grand. Fifteen grand made out to the charity of your choice. my eyes. I want you to deliver a message. I brought you the intro. Want to look it over? That bad, huh? Barnes, this is Mantis speaking. The Ocean City gangs are being set up. Frank Stark is trying to shatter the truce. The political ramifications are enormous. You must get this message to your viewing public. Frank Stark. Well, where is it? What? The intro, damn it. Um. Where are you? Yuri! Amy. Amy, listen. You've you... reached the office of the Ocean City Medical Examiner. Do you wish to leave a message for... Hey, hey. How you doing, man? Good morning. Good morning. I was, uh, just watching the Nick game. Listen, man, I owe you an apology. What? I was looking for the extra keys to the van, and I unlocked your desk. That's where I found this, man. Well, I've been wanting to talk to you about that, bro. How about a beer? You, uh... You didn't say anything to anybody about that, did you? Kids look up to you, man. Me and you, we go a long way back. So I figured I'd give you a chance to explain. I love you, brother, but I'm not gonna drink with you till you tell me where this money came from. No, you know how it is. Donations come in a little here, a little there. All right, maybe I did skim a little off the top, so what? Brand new fresh 20s? Look, look, hey, man. don't fret me, Twan. This is a payoff, man. I just don't know what anybody be paying you for.
Yeah? Hey there, bad boy. It's me, Amy. I know I'm a little early. Hope it's not inconvenient. No, no. Uh, Amy, let's just have the shot. Give me about a minute or two, okay? It's Stark, all right. This whole campaign is based on fear. One more outbreak of violence could turn the election. There's a rally tonight. It's already begun. I know. He can't be doing this all alone. He's got to have an inside man. What's all this? I thought you could stand a home-cooked meal. You look so undernourished. <laughs> Besides, I thought it was time I showed you my stuff. Yeah, your uh, stuff looks fine to me. <laughs> but I thought we were going to go out. I want you to watch the Stark rally. Hope it doesn't kill your appetite. All right, all right. Listen. You don't have any oregano, do you? Baby, whatever you need, believe me. I've got it. Ooh. <laughs> Magic. Here you go. Mind if I turn on the rally? No, not at all. Look at him up there waving. Like he's got the election all sewn up. We better get used to it. Because if the polls are right, he's going to be up there waving in the next four years. Hmm. I guess. Still, there are a couple of bright spots. Like what? Like Mantis. Maybe he's the sort of the hero figure you were talking about. You know, someone for people to rally behind. Excuse me. Yellow. Yeah, it's all straight now. You don't have to worry about it. Have you got any garlic? Yeah, in the bottom cabinet. I'll get you on the other line, okay? <sighs> Business, baby. They won't leave me alone. Give me about five minutes, all right? Nathaniel Holly? Yeah, you knew him? He didn't know D, Antoine. D what? What are you trying to say? Find the garlic? Uh, uh no. No? Oh, come on, it's gotta be there. I can run out and get some. I, I saw a store right on the corner. No, 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 you don't have to. Come on. Hey, here. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't need it yet. It well, it's for later in the recipe. <laughs> okay. Look, why don't we go uh, go look at the basement? Yeah. Come, Come on. on. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's just getting smaller. Well, now, you're acting weird. Is something up? No. Mm -mm. Well, are you going to come over here, or are you uh, going to squiggle around all night? Huh? <laughs> what was that? Oh, it's probably next door. The walls are like paper around here. <laughs> Listen, you know, that's not nearly enough garlic. I'm just going to run out and get some, just in case. Yeah. Why don't you do that? I won't be a moment. All right. I forgot my purse.
Nathaniel Holly, you're the one. Hey, people get nosy, people get killed. That's today's lesson. But why? What did hey. he? Don't you know there's a riot going on? As a matter of fact, in 20 minutes, Frank Stark begins his law and order tip. In 25 minutes, one of my men tries to pop him. The cops open fire. Crowd gets ugly. Move! And when Tuesday rolls around, I'm provoking a riot to swing the election. Life's a compromise. For Frank Stark! Look! He runs uptown, I run downtown. That's the deal. And the truth is only the start. Gangs get organized. In five years, they'll own inner city, and I am just the man to put the lid on. Every racket, every scam, Frank and I will be collecting. <laughs> Top floor. Everybody out. What about all those kids? The ones who believed in you? It's like I told you, baby. He's just looking for a man with a vision. <laughs> Sorry, baby. I'm afraid you gotta take the long way. I'll do with her. I will. my friend, man. You just made a new one. Stark's got two phony hitmen in the crowd. He's trying to... To fake an attempt on his own life, I know. He'll blame it on the gangs and win the election in a walk. And Antoine Pike was his inside man. He was in bed with Stark all along. It's just he said all the right things. He sounded so righteous. Don't blame yourself. He said what you wanted to hear. You saw through him. You must have. Have been there to bail me out. May I ask a rude question? Who 
the hell are you? Just one man trying to help. As Chief Stark approaches, you can feel the tension in the air. Despite a few vocal protests, police so far have kept the crowd under control. I can bet they won't be taking any chances. Damn. Girl, will you come home and answer the phone? I'm getting nervous about this one. Could be worse, bro. She could be here. This crowd's getting kind of ugly, man. What if it's true? What if Stark is the one that's trying to rile up the gangs? Who knows what he'll try? I should have gone on the air. I should have gone on the air with that message. Get real, Yuri. Lila McEwen has a psychotic episode, and you're going to put it on the air. It'll cost you your career, man. And the hell with my career. Yuri. Is that you? Yeah, it's me. Here's the candidate now. And as his car approaches, you can hear the reaction he's getting from this heavily partisan crowd. Down here at the plaza, the protesters are heavily outnumbered, and the general mood is one of celebration. As we reported earlier, there were rumors of a death threat. But these were denied by Chief Stark's campaign office, and the rally is proceeding as planned. Of course, the OCPD special unit is standing by nonetheless. And as you can see, the speaker's podium is outfitted with a shield of bulletproof glass. Now, the next mayor of Ocean City, Chief Frank Stark. Riot copters. Interesting. Why is that? There's no riot. For too long, the decent citizens of Ocean City have been held hostage by a terroristic minority. Well, there's only one response to terrorism. Action. Swift and forceful action. you who want to silence my voice, to silence the voice of all law-abiding citizens. Will we be heard? Will we be heard? Take back the streets! Take back the streets! Take back the streets! Give the order. Walker! Walker, get the camera out here! Look! Flies water one to flies water two. We've got us a bug on the windshield, over. Confirmed. Let's fumigate. shooting at us. We've got to fire back. We can't. I don't have any offensive weapons. You don't? It's a philosophical thing. Philosophical? something else to chase like a flick what's happening your philosophy but i'm just trying to keep them busy they can't attack the rally if they're chasing us flyswatter water two you've got something big and ugly crawling up on your port side over got your flash water one seen them coming
We got a little surprise planned for... What the hell? Did you see that? Something's down there yanked Harry out of the cockpit, over. That does it. We're gonna nail his sorry ass for real this time. Where is he? I lost him. Diving. I'm right on his tail. You swing back around and head him off. We'll catch him in a crossfire. Damn! Look at that thing move! Hey, take it easy there, Flyswatter. You're shaving that corner mighty close. You let me worry about that. I've been flying one of these things since Flyswatter, you were a kid. Pull up, pull up. Ah! Getting out of hand. Now! Oh, God. It's Star Special Unit. They're gonna open up on the crowd. Not if I can help it. This vehicle out of here. I said, take this vehicle out of here. Hey. I said. I want you to deliver a message. I want you to tell the people of Ocean City how you tried to deceive them. I can't tell you what just happened here tonight, and I can't say who's to blame, but I do know a terrible tragedy was averted. For one short time, one lone man brought peace to Ocean City, whether we wanted it or not. Yuri Barnes reporting live from Ocean City Plaza, signing off. his own special unit. Then who gave the order? This may be larger than we thought. And, uh, bring the crystal at home. It's true. Antoine let us all down. Now we can let that shut us down. Destroy everything we've worked to build here. Go back to our old ways. Or we can move ahead and build and make this dream we all have a reality. Now look, before you decide, I want to show you something. I have a check here made out to this center in the amount of one hundred thousand dollars. Signed by Dr. Miles Hawkins. Amazing! <laughs> All right. Who 
is he? Where does he come from? He's... he's incredible. Hmm. Five minutes. If I could just get him alone for five minutes. He probably just put you to sleep. Not that you care. The way the phone's been ringing, you'll be off to the networks. And let Bruce Motley cover my story? Not a chance. Oh, thank you, Monica. Just dial M. Seem distracted today. It's Calvin. I caught him playing Mantis again. <laughs> Seems harmless enough. I might enjoy playing Mantis. But if I were his age. It's not the way I'm bringing him up, that's all. Violence met with violence leading to more violence. Maybe you misunderstand him. I thought the idea of Mantis was to stop the violence. No, Miles. It's all part of the same cycle. I don't want him exposed to it. I don't want him growing up in that kind of world. What other kind is there? A safe world where people don't hate and hurt each other. Where he can feel secure and loved. I used to live in a world like that. There was only one problem with it. What's that? It didn't exist. Tomorrow, then? I'll see you tomorrow. The sea is especially beautiful today. What are you doing, Doctor? Nothing important. Searching for another world. 